Hello everyone, I'm Swabek, we are in Heart Studio. We are uh, producers, sound engineers, and the owners, and uh, owners of uh, that place. We have to go back to uh, when we were uh, like, uh, really young kids. We listen uh, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, and Jimi Hendrix. And the Doors also, uh, there was Alice in Chains uh, first album, that was for us really, really amazing. Pantera. Pantera, yeah, Iron Maiden, all those bands, really, really old school bands. So that was like uh, 30 years ago. Yeah. I think uh, one of the first bands were In Extremis, the band from our city. Squash Bowers. Yeah, it's a grand core band. Uh, still existing, that band. Trauma. Yeah, yeah. But so I would think there was a local bands in the beginning, local bands, yeah. So we have to first uh, record the local bands first uh, very well and then go for the next step. I would uh, recommend uh, for everyone, like sound job. It doesn't matter that, uh, what kind of music they play, if somebody likes some of our stuff, we are open for I don't know, new ideas, new people, uh, new experiments, new music. We love the music, that's the really important thing, and we don't care about the style. Uh, we love to work with uh, the bands who also love the music and try to just uh, playing from the heart, so we love those kind of uh, work jobs with those guys. When we start uh, working with the bands, uh, in the beginning we talk with them and we try to uh, understand them, what kind of music they play, what they uh, want to uh, hear at the end, after uh, mastering and everything. So uh, I would say every day in our work is a big challenge. Uh, sometimes there is a, uh, albums that you can hear it uh, from the record and you go for the show, it's totally different band. Uh, and for me it's really nice to capture how they play naturally. That's for me the big challenge. I think it's really difficult to record people who also never record themselves. And they just go to the studio, they don't know who what kind of result they want, uh, they just go and they are curious what will happen. If you didn't hear that guys before, you didn't hear some kind of demo or uh, rehearsal stuff or I don't know, some kind of show, difficult to start recording, uh, okay, we start recording the drums and you don't know what exactly, what kind of music they play, how they play, it will be fast or not fast, low. So we try to not uh, try to avoid that uh, situation. So we not uh, uh, in the beginning we talk with the band. So it's always easier to work with people if they know what they want. Exactly. Yes. And even if the expectations are really high, that's great because that's the challenge. And that's really nice. Our challenge. It's always about, uh, I don't know, for me the basic, the rules, the, the acoustic, the microphones and the preamps. I think there is diff really difficult to capture uh, somehow the, the technique, how they play, and keep it natural, to find the balance between uh, his natural playing and hearing what exactly he's playing. Even uh, we we have this studio from uh, almost 15 years. Every day we work a little bit different, and uh, we're using uh, different techniques on each band, and that's uh, for us. Uh, it's really make a uh, big fun of working with the bands, with the musicians, and uh, we try a lot of things, different things to uh, to make the band sounds really interesting. If 
the band comes to us the second time, uh, when we uh, make mixing, we always try to listen to the pre previous album and make it better. I don't know if it's better or it's, uh, but always we try to make it better. I think it's always about the people. If the people are, uh, can uh, find a nice communication between the people, it's you spend with them a few weeks and uh, it's easier, you know, just to work together with the, uh, I don't know, nice atmosphere. And I think uh, that's the most important thing because we're still talking about the music and uh, the musicians, if they come to our studio, we try to feel them good uh, because uh, they play music. That's, uh, feelings are really important, how they feel, I don't know, the, the recording vocals or whatever. And uh, that's for me. It's really important. The technical stuff is of course also important, but I, I think that the, the, it's not so important. Because in, in that time you can make overdubs, you can record it once again, and a lot of the stuff that helps with the computer editing and all. But the, the, the communication between the people that is the, the really the most important for me. Floor. We have uh, the whole floor for the uh, bands where they can spend the night. Well, recording, recording, and recording. <laughs> And also we're gonna do a workshop with one sound engineers. There was a, we try to plan a, probably next winter. For me, uh, it always helps to when the people record that they have like a demo or some kind of production because uh, if you hear your music recorded uh, and you do it make the home some kind of pre-production uh, rest a little bit you can let's say catch the distance and prepare the band either change some arrange and for me that's a really important stuff to hear you uh, hear uh, the music before you go to the studio it really helps uh, in everything to choose the right tempo, the right tuning, the, to fix something in the arrangement, you know, the arrange of the song. That's really important. And just to express yourself a bit more, not to look at the other bands, just do it in your way. That's the most important. <laughs> There was one band, I can tell you which one, they start to record the vocals and the vocalist was really drunk, I mean, really drunk. And after, I don't know, each song, he drink more. Even after the uh, uh, one song, he didn't want to hear how was the project, just oh, give me the next one, the next one. Oh, perfect, next one. We got the whole uh, album. And uh, that was only a few hours, yeah?
few four hours and we record everything. The next day, you wake up in the morning. Okay, can we listen? Yes. And uh, he sing the same text for three songs. <laughs> so he, for he was so fucking drunk that he forget to change the text. So <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> but he fit everything right. Yeah, you know the tempo that was correct. Yeah, yeah but yeah. he just forget to change the, you know. Of the we could tell you a lot of that kind of stories, but <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe too dangerous for the fans <laughs> and for us. <laughs> of Russia. Yeah. Uh, we're recording um, and now the second album in the Hell Studio. Uh, the first album we recorded in this studio is named uh, My Way to the Star. Just now uh, we recorded the uh, second album, name is Adam. Uh, we recorded the album in the last uh, year, but now uh, we have a mix and mastering album. The production will be definitely uh, different from the previous one. Much yes. more different, much more organic. We just need to finish mixing, some break, make mastering. Yeah. 